Let me introduce some of the basic ideas of how to use your time crystal. Today we're going to be talking about premonitions. The ability to get a message, precognition, premonition, and to be able to get this message from the help of the pendant. Now we all have this ability, and there's negentropy fields and a scalar field sustained by the pendant. This helps to turn on your ability to expand your sensations in time. There is protection inside the system, an energy scalar wave that will help to protect you from bio, bad bio waves, electromagnetic frequencies that could harm you. And it helps to build up your body's ability to deal with those. But let's deal with the ideas of time. Time is like a river, old man river, that meanders around stars, speeds up and slows down. The new wrinkle in all this, which is causing all the excitement and the dismay of philosophers, is that this river of time can fork into two rivers. Or perhaps the river of time can have whirlpools and time can go in on itself. Time is not absolute. In fact, for us believing physicists, the distinction between the past present and future is but a stubborn illusion. Time is more of an ocean with currents that look like they're rivers, but they're not. They flow around. Time is much more like an ocean than a river. Now we have a different perspective. In that case, time travel is something you have to take very seriously. Because Einstein's equations do allow for time travel. And they're blueprints. <laughs> blueprints for different kinds of, of time travel designs that are compatible with Einstein's theory. Time as an ocean means that premonitions do exist. Since the beginning of time, people have believed in intuition. They've had messages. They've had ideas, gut feeling, whatever you want to call it, precognition. These things are real, and now scientists are telling them, telling us, that it is very real. But it is not of the words, it's of our electrophysiology. Dean Radin researches psychic phenomena at the Institute of Noetic Sciences in Northern California. His working theory is our brains might all have some extrasensory ability though we may call it something different. One thing that people commonly talk about is a gut feeling. And a way it expresses itself often is while driving. They get a sense there's something wrong about these corners. And more often than not, a car is in fact coming from the other direction. So I've learned to pay attention to my gut feelings. It's like pushing your attention a few seconds into the future. Everybody's gonna be able to play golf as good as Tiger Woods. But everybody can play golf a little bit. And so what we tend to see in the laboratory is everybody playing golf a little bit. And occasionally we're lucky and we get the equivalent of Tiger Woods. Yes, the idea of messages through time, the idea of the time machine, very mysterious and a part of physics that now Einstein's theories have said that it is possible. And we start to look at this, but it is indeed possible for us to send messages through time, maybe not to to be able to send people through time, a message, a premonition, a feeling. But this would not be of the word area of the brain. It would be in a visual sense, an intuitive sense. It would be something that comes to us because our culture has always dealt with the ideas of premonitions. And these premonitions are not of the words. They're electrophysiology. They are the body electric. So we see here, hair standing on end. This is an example of that body electric. And oftentimes your word area doesn't quite understand. But if your word area starts to open up and listen, then we can listen to the energies and start to realize that there is a connection between us and a connection between all of us. And this all comes out as we are all connected, entwined. We are all there in space and in time. And when we look at in time, we can see 
that certain times we have the feeling that we met people in the past. We say deja vu. Sometimes people, through their different past lives, have encountered each other. Maybe it's not complete past life, but some type of form of energy that has encountered another person through time. That has left a signature, left a feeling. These type of things do happen. And we now need to broaden our area of time and space and increase our perspective into the future and into the past. And the premonitions are the ability to listen to messages and feel and share. They come, can't come as emotions. They can't come as visions. But the idea is if we open ourselves up to listen to our body electric, Listen to the synchronicity. Perhaps we can find Don't rely on faith, think. But recognize that these things are possible. The ability to connect through time, through space, is very, very possible. As you broaden your mind, with exercise, start to then increase your perspective. Recognize that the laws of a chessboard only work on the chessboard. And the laws of the physical reality work in the physical reality. But as we go into that dream interworld state, different set of laws, more of a quantic set of laws, the laws of entwinement, connection, awaken the spirit from within and be able to feel the emotions and the connection because then you'll be able to expand your mind into the future and be able to get premonitions. At first, it might only be a minute, two minutes, but then perhaps more, as you'll be able to expand your mind and see and listen for the perspectives and recognize that you can send messages through time to yourself perhaps to others. We listen to the premonitions. Inside our system is a prayer wheel that will help to stop any negative aspect so there won't be any type of negative energy being flown, being traveled between the people. So we have protected you. And inside this, you now will be able to increase your abilities instantly time and space. Utilize some of our electroceuticals for the past and present, and we will be doing more teaching about how to use them. But broaden your mind. Broaden your mind to be able to see the people. These feelings don't come as words. They're emotions. Time can slow down. And then you start to get that gut feeling. Here we have the gut feeling. Because that part of the brain that's beyond that time is wired to the right hemisphere of the brain, which is wired to the gut feeling. So that gut feeling, that stomach chakra, very important. When you get the pendant, put the pendant on the stomach chakra. See how you feel. Put the pendant on the heart chakra. See how you feel and recognize that these feelings, these communications come to you and that they can connect you and help you to broaden your perspective. Feel the energy and with practice, the energy will increase greater and greater. Your powers of, of feeling your powers of mind will expand and you'll be able to feel into not just time and space, but beyond, into other dimensions. But be cautious, be aware, don't overreact, don't underreact. 
feel the feelings, expand the mind. As these feelings come to you, recognize that if they are connected to words, they're probably not true. The ones that are really true are not connected to the words. You don't think of the words. They're in visions. They're in gut feelings. Yes, Lord. Out of the words, they don't have explanations. Start to expand your mind to understand these better. Yes, you have three brains. When you get your pendant, put it on the brow chakra, just in the center of the forehead, and see how it feels. What happens? Just what envisions, what comes to you? Then put it onto your heart chakra. Put it on the heart chakra. See what then happens. How does it feel with the feelings through the heart chakra, the emotions? How does that connect? And then put it onto the stomach chakra the gut feeling and start to embrace the pendant and start to feel just what happens what are the emotions that it gives to you how do you sense these things don't listen to the words listen to the feelings the emotions then we want you to try our portals our time portal here's a time portal into the future. By exercising and envisioning the future, you can help to connect to it. With practice, you can find ways that you can connect to the future, and get better premonitions, get better abilities to sculpt your future. Connect. It's just simple to relax and expand your mind into the future. And then be able to expand your mind into the past, with the past portal. Being able to look into the past and recognizing where you are and some of the things that you should have changed in the past, that you can change with some of the certain little things. We have an entire course on retro causality to be able to teach you more about how to affect the past, thereby affect a better future. Principles of quantum physics of retro causality. You know, I guess one person can make a difference. Enough said. I could be your angel, you Would you wake up if I asked you to wake?